what are these pictures that you submitted, sir? I have pictures of what we did as far as taking the floors up, replacing them in the Fraley property. I have pictures of repairing walls and putting in cabinet doors and bathroom sinks and picking up. I even did the bathroom that was not even in the contract. How much has she paid you? The 900 deposit on the garage and the $2,000 deposit for the Fraley house. Sir, we have, we have evidence here, which I'm gonna let you see, from the defendant showing two $2,000 checks. She never gave me no With checks. respect to the, to the Fraley property, and it appears to be endorsed by you and, and cash. Okay, I want, I'm gonna have Officer it's Montano bring these to you, because these are two checks. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, weren't, weren't you required to pay for the material? Yes, and I took <laughs> Ms. Bruce with me, and we bought all the receipts. material. The Home Depot receipt? Yeah. I didn't know I had to bring it. I, I was to leaving to go to Mississippi for a family reunion. Yeah. And then I sent my daughter off this morning to Italy to go to school abroad. So I'm up until 3 o'clock this morning now trying to get all this evidence. When I grabbed everything off the computer, along with those receipts, I, I must have accidentally left them because I'm rushing, I'm rushing. And my okay. daughter is like, Mom, we got to go. We got to get to okay. LAX, right. you know, this morning. Sir, did you cash those checks or not? One of these checks was for the paint job on the Fraley house. The other $2,000 was for material, and I stated it in here, that this $2,000 would be used to buy material that I needed. And here are the receipts that come up to $2,500 and some odd change. So when you say in your complaint, Deborah gave me a $2,000 deposit to start the job, that's the Compton property? That's the Compton To paint? Property. Yeah, prep and paint. The floors, the job, the... Let's see. Let me okay. start over, man. And then she wrote you another check, you're saying, for just materials. Yes. But you have receipts I that have you the spent receipts yes. that in, excess spent. in excess of $2,000. In excess of $2,000. Yes, ma'am. You're so shaking that... your head. If he has receipts, how, how could you shake your head? Your Honor, those receipts could have came from anywhere. Why Man, would I, I mean, honestly, I, know, I get it. I get you know, it. But why would I take his wife with me to buy everything okay. at Home Depot and he need to go buy more materials? That doesn't make any sense to me. Ma'am, you went with her to buy what Yes, I did. We were property? at Home Depot. The, it's at the Compton one where he was doing the floors and the painting. We were in Home Depot for four hours. Okay, buying okay, property, buying, robbing stuff buying for what property? Paint for the Compton. Compton. And she verbally told us, and you know you did, Deb. Um, just, just talk, talk, to, talk the to, to the judge. I'm sorry. Talk to the yeah, judge. Talk to the, yeah. I'm, I'm you listening. You verbally told, whatever you spend, I will reimburse you. But when you went with her, she was paying. Yes, she, yes, she paid with her credit. She took out several credit cards. Please make sure you leave us your receipts yes. that you're holding so we can look at those yes. and the checks that, right there. that the defendant provided us. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. We'll excuse you while we deliberate in this matter. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I do think there's a legitimate question with respect to some of the work performed, whether it's the type of work that would have required a licensed contractor. Demolition does not. I also think that if the core thing for her was that he was licensed. She would have asked. If you check in sure. your license she number, would've... or you explicitly say, like, could I have your contractor license number? Being you given don't the just, impression? You don't just rely on an yeah. impression. Yeah, on an impression. It's just I, I agree. Okay. I All agree. right. I, and by the way, I don't mean to throw another fly in the ointment, but the contractor receipt that she had at the Compton property includes all sorts of things that were not in his original contract. Yeah. So the notion that that contractor was just fixing up his mistakes right. is dead wrong. He did, every, right. he, he did other things, obviously. We have to view this verdict in the grander scheme of things. She also has a counterclaim, which had some merit, or which had some attractive quality to it at first, that she should actually get all her money back for paying right. for unlicensed contractor work. Right. We're giving him the benefit of the doubt that from what we could tell, his work was not of the ilk that would require well, here's why I, fe I, feel, I feel better about it also because you're right. If we believed her, he would get nothing. Correct. So how do we pick a number? I'm inclined to give him less instead of more. Me too. Let's give him half then. I Dismiss can't. her countersuit. Right. I think he's lucky for what, what he's going to get from us, okay. which is the balance on that one project, which we all agreed on, a refund for the materials, and then a little bit less than $1,500 for additional labor yeah. performed yeah. at the Compton property. Okay, we have a verdict. Okay, we do.